Hi guys, today I'm going to show you the lemon example and how I want you to draw all of the pieces and how to layer the brushes. And then I'm going to take some time to show you how to make your own brushes because you don't have to use the brushes that are available in Illustrator, you can make your own. So first off, this is an example of the lemon drawing that we're going to do. And you can see I have all the contour lines making it sort of like a 3D armature. So to do that, I have provided in the Schoology folder this photo of lemon. So you want to open this folder. When you open it, you'll see that the photo layer is locked and there is a trace layer above it. On that trace layer, you're going to continue to trace and add multiple layers. So for the first trace, I use my pen tool and like I said, I use the pen tool to draw a sort of armature, a 3D armature around the items to help make them look more 3D. So for the body of the lemon here, I made a line almost straight across the center and then I slowly started to curve up from that line until I hit that curved edge on top. And then from this straight line, I started curving down until I hit that curved line on the bottom. So that's what you want to do to make that sort of armature. For the slice of the lemon, you can follow the edges, it's easier to see it this way, the edges of the pulp on the inside, you can follow those lines as guides towards the center point, and that's going to make it look really three-dimensional. So anyway, I traced all these pieces, then on another layer, I traced going the opposite direction. So now it's starting to really become like a 3D model and look more like a lemon. So if I hide the photo, now you can see this like 3D rendering of a lemon. So that's what you want to do with the pen tool first, or if you find that you draw better with the paintbrush, use a paintbrush, not a big deal. Now what I did is I added different brushes and different values of yellow and different stroke sizes to these lines. So this is my green armature here. And then for the pink armature, I added some more intense yellows and you can see that the gradient colors kind of change as I go and as I started to overlap those two pieces now my lemons are starting to look more realistic. So I went in and added even more value lines because I felt like it was lacking in some areas and when I added those value lines as color now you can see my lemons starting to fill in. I dropped a little shadow down here. I did some cross hatched lines underneath it. And then I filled in the shadow. So when I got all the pieces done, I added a little box around the outside. I hand wrote lemon. And then here was my completed image. So that's what your assignment is, is to use a pen tool or the brush tool and all the brushes and different values to try to make the lemon photograph look like a nice lemon drawing. Now, what I want to show you is how to make your own brushes. So I'm going to hide all this, add a new blank layer, move this guy out of the way. What I want you to do is I want you to make just a cool sort of design with the paintbrush. So this isn't much, this is a lot of scribbles, right? I'm going to take my black selection arrow, I'm going to highlight those scribbles. I'm going to shrink them down so they're really small. Now you see how fat they got. So I'm going to go to my stroke and I'm going to reduce the stroke size to 0.25. Now it looks like it did when I drew it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little random drawing. So you guys are going to make your own little random drawing like I do with the paintbrush. I'm going to highlight it with my black selection arrow. I'm going to go to my brushes panel. So I'm going to open my brushes here. With the three little lines on the right, I'm going to click. I'm going to create a new brush. I'm going to create a new brush and I'm going to pick art brush. So I'm going to check this button here. I'm going to say OK. This dialog box appears and I have all these different options I can pick through. I'm going to leave it default where it is for now, but I am going to change my colorization method. If you leave it at none, everything you draw with this brush will stay black. But if you go to hue, hue, hue shift, sorry, I couldn't say it. 
then it will change to whatever color you pick. So now I'm going to say OK. Move this out of the way. I'm going to go to my paintbrush. I'm going to draw a squiggly. Now, nothing happened because it's on a default brush. So I'm going to highlight that with my black selection arrow. I'm going to scroll down here. See this right here? That's this. It became a brush. So now when I click on it, now you can see that brush in action. So now I can do like a circle or a loop-de-loop. -loop. And remember how I picked sh hue shift as an option? I can highlight this, double click on my black, go get a color. And now I can change the color of the line that I drew. So you might be sitting there going, okay, Woodcock, but why are you making us do this? Well, first of all, it's a good thing to know how to make your own brushes. But secondly, maybe when you're shading your lemon, you want a different brush that you can't find in Illustrator. So let's say this is my lemon shape right here. I can come in with this new brush that I made and I can start to shade. It adds a whole bunch of nice lines all at once. So then if I went through and change this to a lemon value, Well, now it's starting to feel like a lemon, and all because I made this brush. So, okay, so that's one type of brush that you can make. Now we're going to do a different type. So I'm going to, oops, I'm still on my brush that I made. I want to go back to a normal brush. So I'm going to go back to a normal brush, and I'm going to make some different colors. So this is a really ugly brush, but you'll get the point. So I'm going to go through and change a couple of these lines to blue. And I'm going to change one of these to yellow. So I'm making a primary colored brush here. Okay, so I want to turn this into a pattern brush. So I'm going to highlight it with my black selection arrow. I'm going to shrink it down. I'm going to come over to my stroke, shrink the size so it's easier to see. I'm going to shrink it a little bit more. Okay, so this is my second brush I'm going to make. So I'm going to leave it highlighted with the black arrow. I'm going to come over to my brushes panel, three little lines, new brush, pattern brush, say OK. See how it's repeating my pattern? So again, I have all these options I can mess around with. I could even change it so that I could change the color of it, but I'm going to pick none and let it stay my primary colors, and I'm going to say OK. So now on the bottom of my, my brushes panel, check it out. It lives right there. So now if I make a box, click on it, come over here to my pattern brush, I just drew a box with my cool pattern. So that's pretty neat. If there's something specific you know you want to do, then you can make a pattern in the colors that you want. I'll shrink my stroke size here. And you can get some pretty cool effects with it. But wait, there's more. So I'm going to make some crazy little, oops, I didn't go back to my normal brush. Hold on. I'm going to make some crazy little speckles, some dots, maybe some loop-de-loops. I'm just making kind of like a random drawing, okay? So what I want to do with this random drawing is I want to highlight it with my black arrow. I'm going to shrink it. I'm going to drop down that stroke size, shrink it a wee bit more. Okay, so I'm going to turn this into a scatter brush. So I'm going to come back to my brushes panel, hit my three little lines, new brush, scatter brush, okay. Now there's some fun options here. I'm, we haven't changed any options yet, so I'm just going to pick some different ones. I'm going to change my colorization to tints and shades. We haven't tried that yet. And I'm going to say okay. So now I'm going to take my brush. Notice here, there's my brush. It lives right there. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to make a circle. So you clearly see I've got a circle. Now I'm going to let go. Whoa! It just went crazy because it's a scatter brush. So I'm going to click on it. 
drop my stroke size down. Look at how much it changes when I make it smaller. Now I'm just going to do a straight line. So that's what it looks like as a straight line. And then when you start to loop, it gets really intense. Now remember, I did hue shift for this one. I'm sorry, I did um, shades intense for this one. So when I come over here and change the color, let's make it red. Look what happens. It made it a dark red. It's kind of hard to see. Let's try green maybe. See how it's like a dark green? So it's making a tint or shade of the color I'm picking. It's not actually making it green. Well, let's say I want to make it green. I'm going to come over here to where it lives on my brushes panel, and I'm going to double click on it. My options appear. So now I can go change the colorization. I can make a shoe or hue. Now watch what happens. This brush has already been used. Do you want to apply changes to existing brushes? Okay, so I'm going to apply it to those. Now they're all green. So you can easily go in, change your options, and apply it to brushes you've already made, or say no, leave those brushes the same way and do something else. Okay, so I'm running out of time on my tutorial, so I want to do one more thing. Oops, I did it with the scatter brush, my bad. So I'm going to make some wavy lines here. And once again, I'm going to highlight. I'm going to shrink. I'm going to drop down my stroke size, shrink a little bit more. I'm going to turn this into a bristle, bristle brush really fast. So I've got it highlighted, brushes panel, three little lines, new brush, bristle brush, OK. You can change what type of point it has. I always like the um, flat angled brush. You can change the size, the length of it, how dense it is. There's all kinds of options. And then you say, OK. So this has appeared right here. So I'm going to click off. I'm going to grab this guy, make a little loop-de-loop. -loop. See what I just did there? So as I drag slow, see I can see all those lines? It's taking all of those lines that I had here and it's kind of muddying them up, blurring them a little bit. So that would be really nice for shading. Okay, so that's the basics of the brushes. You guys can play around with them, try out all the different options. And then when you're done, you're gonna go through and start to build that armature with the pen or the brush tool and then eventually go through and change all of the values and colors as you guys create your own lemon drawing. All right, good luck.